In this video, I'm going to show you an example of how to calculate the economic order quantity, which is sometimes abbreviated as EOQ. So here's our formula for the economic order quantity. We're going to take 2 times the demand. So if we're talking about for an entire year, it would be the annual demand, times the cost per order, and then times the carrying cost of one unit for the same time period that is the demand. So if the demand is annual, then it would be the carrying cost of one unit for a year. Okay, so what we're doing with this formula, we're balancing the ordering cost, the cost of ordering, against the cost of holding the inventory, those carrying costs. Okay, so let's jump into an example. Let's say we have a grocery store that's trying to figure out how many jars of peanut butter they should order. Okay, so the manager is trying to figure out that out. And let's say the monthly demand at this grocery store is for 100 jars of peanut butter. So every month, there are 100 jars of peanut butter that are demanded by customers, but the carrying cost, the holding cost of this inventory is 25 cents per jar. And then every time there's a purchase order, it costs $50. Not the, not the actual cost of the peanut butter, all the ordering costs associated uh, with, with you know submitting the purchase order, paying the vendor, and so forth. Okay, so here's all the relevant information. Now we can just plug it into our formula we can plug it into our formula and we got two times the demand and we're looking at a monthly period here. So the monthly demand is 100 jars. So two times 100, our demand, times the ordering cost. Okay, ordering cost is $50 an order. That's our numerator. And then we divide that all by the carrying cost, which is 25 cents in this case. Carrying cost for the entire period for one unit. Okay, so one jar of peanut butter for one month is 25 cents okay so we take 2 times 100 times 50 divide it by point, uh, 0.25 and then that entire sum or that that resulting figure we take the square root of that and that is the quantity that we should be ordering so it would be 200 jars okay now let me just change things up a bit to show you how we're balancing the ordering and, and carrying costs off one another what if what if i were to tell you at the cost of ordering increased. Right now it's $50 a purchase order, but what if it was higher? What if it was $60.50? How would our economic order quantity change? Okay, how would this how would this change? So I want to this will be good practice for you and better to understand the tuition behind it. So I've done I've got this we've got the same formula obviously, but now it's $60.50 instead of $50, okay? Now, I'm going to spare you the calculation that gets to 220 jars. Now think about it, think about the intuition here. We went from the proper order quantity being 200 jars, but it went up to 220 jars, okay? So it actually increased the amount that we should order. So if somebody's like, how many jars of peanut butter should we order? 220, 20 more than before. Why is it that we wanna buy more jars of peanut butter now? Well, the only thing that has changed is the cost of a purchasing order. If it gets more expensive to do an order, the ordering cost goes up, then we're going to say, well, you know, when we actually go to make an order, let's buy more so we can do fewer orders. If orders become more expensive, then we want to order peanut butter less frequently. Okay, we want to order it less frequently. So when we do order it, we want to order a bigger amount of peanut butter. So that's why I went up. Now, what if the convert, what, what if instead the carrying cost increased? So if we go back to what our original ordering cost was, which was $50, that's, that's from our original data. And now let's say the carrying cost, instead of 25 cents a jar, is 35 cents a jar. And then the demand is the same. So now we're back to the original situation, but 35 cents uh, for the carrying cost instead of 25 cents. So we just plug the numbers back into our formula. Everything is the same as our first problem, except now we've got 35 cents in the denominator. And now you'll see that the economic order quantity is 169. Okay, it written our original problem where this was 25 cents a jar, it had been 200, 200 jars of peanut butter, and now it went down to 169. So when the carrying cost goes up, think about the intuition behind this. This is saying it's more costly to hold the inventory. So if it becomes more costly to hold inventory, then we're going to want to hold less inventory. So we're not going to want to order in bulk we're gonna say let's reduce the amount of jars of peanut butter because it's expensive to hold on to these jars of peanut butter. So let's buy fewer jars when we do make an order. Okay, so if the ordering costs go up, 
the ordering costs go up, then we want to do fewer orders and buy more in bulk. We want to increase our order size. But if the carrying costs increase and it's more expensive to hold the inventory, then we say, look, let's do, if we have to do more frequent orders, that's fine, but we don't want to get caught holding a bunch of inventory. So when we do make an order, let's order fewer jars of peanut butter.